Safety must always be practiced as we proceed through the daily tasks in the machine shop. When we keep safety on our minds as we work on machines, we will not only protect ourselves and others around us, but also the machines we work on. Safety must always be a continuing concern in the machine shop. After viewing this videotape, you should be able to identify precautions that protect you from injury, identify precautions that protect your co-workers from injury, and identify precautions that ensure efficient operation of the machine shop and the equipment in it. A very important general rule is that regular cleaning of the shop will eliminate many safety hazards. Every shop should be cleaned at least daily or at the end of every shift. All operators must take responsibility for cleaning their own work areas rather than leaving the job for someone else. After sweeping, store brooms and dust pans in their designated area. Soiled rags should be kept in an airtight, combustion-preventing container that is emptied regularly. The machine shop should be checked for safety regularly. Storage areas should be clean and orderly with materials stored in their proper place. Oil and other combustibles should be stored in an approved cabinet with self-closing doors. This periodic safety check should ensure that all electrical equipment, such as wiring, fuse boxes, and outlets are free of hazard. A safety check should be made for the proper type of fire extinguishers and their placement. Fire extinguishers must be hung properly and inspected regularly by qualified personnel. Each fire extinguisher should have a card showing when it was inspected. If you use a fire extinguisher, make sure it is replaced with a fully charged unit. Everyone in the shop should know the basics of first aid and be able to care for cuts and abrasions. To treat a cut, apply a compress immediately and summon medical help. If injured persons appear to be in shock, lay them down and keep them warm. Every shop should have a fire blanket that can be used in this way, as well as for smothering fires. When someone is injured in the shop, the injured person and the supervisor should fill out accident reports and send them through appropriate medical and management channels. This practice provides a written record that can be used to identify causes of accidents. All shop personnel should be required to attend regular safety meetings so that they can stay safety conscious. As in any other line of work, your greatest asset is your ability to think. An unthinking operator makes a bad machinist and an unsafe worker. It may sound obvious, but to work safely, you have to think about safety. Thinking safety means being properly equipped. Your shop should have signs to remind people of the importance of eye protection and wearing approved protective equipment. In the shop, you should always wear approved safety glasses. If you are working around flying particles, your glasses must have side shields. If you don't have side shields, wear a face shield. When safety glasses are not available, wear approved safety goggles. Some shops will have an eye wash fountain to wash out eyes if oil or caustics that are used on machines get into the eyes. You must also protect your eyes from welding flash. When welding is performed in the shop, shield the area to protect people's eyes in other parts of the shop. Thinking safety means wearing apparel suited to the job. Never wear rings, wristwatches, or other jewelry in the shop. Never wear loose clothing that can get caught in the machinery. If your hair is long, secure it so that it cannot fall into a machine. Roll your sleeves above the elbow to keep them out of the way of moving parts. 
it is advisable to wear safety shoes in the machine shop. Never wear soft shoes or open-toed sandals. This kind of footwear exposes you to injury from falling objects and from razor-sharp chips. For welding or heat treating, wear protective clothing and appropriate safety equipment. Thinking safe means using good judgment in the shop. Keep your hands away from chips. They are not only sharp, they may also be hot. It is not a good shop practice to use air hoses for cleaning machines. They may blow particles into machines and cause excessive wear. If you are using an air hose, be sure it is equipped with an OSHA approved air nozzle restricting pressure to 30 PSI or less. If you have to lift something in the shop, keep your back straight, your knees bent, and lift with the legs. If the load is of excessive weight, get help from someone else or use a hoist. Horseplay and practical jokes have no place in the machine shop. These activities can cause accidents and sometimes in industry are basis for dismissal. Thinking safety means using the tools of your trade safely. Always use a handle over the tang of a file. Be sure wrenches fit the object to be tightened. A loose fitting wrench can slip, injuring you and rounding the corners of the object. On the bandsaw, always adjust the saw guide to slightly above the work. Hold small work pieces in a work holding device and feed them into the blade with a pusher block. Keep proper working space around the machine, about four feet in front and three in back. And don't start the machine without having all guards in place. Remove burrs from work cut on the bandsaw with a file because they can cut you. On the drill press, never drill work held by hand. Use a vise or clamp the work to the table or base. Keep the floor around the machine clear of chips and oil. Never lubricate the machine or adjust it while it is running. Keep gloves and rags away from the drill press and remove chips with a brush. Safe operation of an engine lathe means using a wooden cradle block in changing chucks. Never leaving a chuck wrench in the chuck. Using slower spindle RPMs with out of balance or oversized work pieces. Never grabbing the chuck to stop the machine. Checking for clearance of setups before turning on the lathe. Using pliers to remove chips and using only the proper feed and speed. To safely operate a milling machine, never leave tools or materials on the work table. They can fall off and cause injury. The machine should be turned off when you are cleaning arbor holes for inserting adapters into the spindle. Always make setups away from the cutter and then bring the work to the cutter after it has been secured to a work holding device on the table. To safely operate automatic machines, such as turret lathes, check all the operations step by step before using the automatic mode. Grind chip breakers into the tools so that they do not produce one long continuous chip. On grinding machines, safe operation requires testing the grinding wheels for cracks before you use them, keeping guards in place at all times, making sure work pieces are properly mounted before you start a cylindrical grinder, checking magnetic chucks to be sure the magnet is on and the work piece is securely fastened to the table before starting a surface grinder, and being careful not to jam the work when picking up a cut, which could break the grinding wheel. When it is necessary to leave a grinding machine or any machine for a period of time, make sure the machine is turned off. To review, you should now be thinking machine shop safety to protect yourself, the people around you, and the equipment in the shop. Remember, 
safety must always be a continuing concern in the machine shop.